Oh wow. That night I have a dream. <gasps> Wait. You also have a dream? Why is a dream of your own parents? <laughs> so no he Orewa you may want me ta. Okay, here we go. There's a familiar man alongside a familiar woman. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> He's dreaming of his father and his mother when they were young, before they got married. <laughs> and when they were dating. Maybe when they first met, actually. The man bears a striking resemblance to the man I know very well, a bit far younger. But the woman looks identical to the one in a certain photograph. That's right, she looks just like the picture of my mom in the living room. Yeah, so... Is that... Mom and dad? Arete, Otosan to Okasan? Or, yeah, Okasan. So then... Is this Toko-san's dream? I tried to get closer to confirm their identities, but I can't move at all. So, uh... Utari wo kakunin suru tami ni chikazu koto suru mono no ore no karada wa ugokanai. Wait, am I even in my body? Why is my point of view so low? Oh shit, wait... This in Toko's body? <laughs> Somehow? Toko's perspective? Oh wait, wait hold on. I think she, I think he's now in Toko's perspective, and this is the point where when they, when yeah, when Shuji's mom and dad got married, right? And Toko was like somewhere in the background overseeing, yeah, Shuji's mom, something like that. Yeah, that question goes unanswered as my consciousness once again drifts off. But that's quick. But <laughs> I thought it's gonna go on even further. Oh shit. <laughs> I thought it was gonna last longer, but oh shit. It was just a quick one. Just him seeing yeah, his mom and dad when they were young or they were dating I guess. And in Toko's perspective. Okay. Hmm. As we now come to chapter seven dash six, by the way. It's morning. Toko wa well, you slept with your with Toko, remember? Eh. <gasps> Why are you shocked, Shuji? Have <laughs> you forgotten where you are? Oh, but this is sweet. Yeah, seeing Toko's face like that. Oh, seeing Toko's cute face like that. And the sun shining on her. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy crap. I was not expecting to see such a cute face for waking up. Me neither. <laughs> right. I stayed at Toko-san's house yesterday, uh, last night. We're still holding hands. Yeah. Oh! Could the, the reason why he had that dream have be because he was holding Toko's hand? Probably. Tsunaida mama no te. It seems nothing was wrong with how I slept. I didn't, uh, I didn't hog the covers at least. That's a relief. Ma, so go ni anshin shita. I hope you're not having a bad dream. Yeah, she breathes in her sleep. It's kind of erotic. Mio ni eroi na. I had to keep the beat there. Toko-san is squirming about. Perhaps trying to turn over in her sleep. Okay, she's not having a bad dream. But she can. Since I'm in the way and they're holding hands. Eventually, she opens her eyes. Hi. Ohio. Ohio gozaimasu. Ohio. Have you forgotten? Oh no, not another one of her memory lapses. <laughs> Come on, Atoko. Don't forget. Huh? What do you mean? I stayed over and we slept together. Oh my god, her memory lapses are seriously getting worse. Uh, they are seriously getting worse by the day. Yeah. 
at, at this point, it's really clear that those the mem her memory lapses are a cause for concern. Yeah, it, it, it's really clear by now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What are you so present for? Shuji, please think for a sec. Why she's... Have you actually find... You should actually find this weird. Like, why is she having this kind of memory lapses all of a sudden, you know? Yeah, you should be suspicious at this point. What are you so present for? At first, I thought Toko-san was just screaming. me. No, no, no. She really has forgotten. But now it's obvious that she's not. Why is she so shocked? She doesn't remember. That's the thing. And why, you ask, you should have gotten a hint quite some time ago. It, it might not be that obvious, but you see, yeah, it's things like this that I, I can... For me, if I were in Shuji's shoes, I would have definitely noticed this. I let go of her hand and look into her eyes. What's wrong? Are you feeling okay? No, no, no. You two didn't have saxophone last night. You two had saxophone in the afternoon or in the evening, but not, not at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really worrying. It's a cause for concern, Shuji. Actually, you should ask, ask, you should ask Nana about this, you know, right? Why is she having like memory lapses recently? You, know? you should ask her that. Um, Toko-san gets out of bed and goes to the kitchen to make some tea. I take a good look at her. She's definitely the Toko-san I know. But what is it? Nandaro. Something strange. Nanka, Henda. Yeah, now you're finding it strange, huh? I'll take a coffee, thanks. Yeah, Shuji, Shuji, now we know that Shuji's favorite drink is coffee. <laughs> I mean, I mean, at the cafe, right, he also drank the, the, he always likes to drink the, you know, the house blend. Yeah, the house blend special, right, the coffee blend. But actually, most most men, I say, generally, men likes to drink coffee in the morning. I say generally, okay, like those typical businessmen, I guess. You know, when they get up in the morning, first thing they have is coffee. I myself don't really like coffee. I can't drink coffee. I just don't really like it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I don't really like the bitterness of it. Uh, and yeah, but I do like white coffee. Yeah, white coffee is, in case you know what white coffee is, it's a kind of sweet coffee basically. And it's a bit like a, a, a whitish, but it's like brownish white. Yeah, but yeah, white coffee is great. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, there are certain types of coffee that I can't drink also because I'm kind of like allergic to some coffee. Yeah. Like if I drink that kind of coffee for uh, too much, then I'll feel like vomiting after a while. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm kind of allergic to some coffee. Yeah, but I generally like tea better. Yeah. I watch her intently as she boils the water and fills the cup. We've had our share of awkward moments since we started dating, but I thought that we have been growing closer. Oh, so are you saying that instead of you two growing closer, it's more like you two are growing more and more distant? Huh. I thought that we've overcome our awkwardness and have become able to act completely natural around each other. But it seems like it's getting worse. I was pretty sure that Toko-san felt the same way. Huh. But right now she seems anxious. The eyes dart all over the room, never once looking at me. She wasn't awkward at all last night, but now she can't set it down. 
This goes beyond simple embarrassment of shyness. Not to mention, Sorini Saki Karazuto. By all this time. Huh? I'll take it black. Yeah, I like it pure black. No, I myself don't like pure black, okay? I don't really like the bit. I mean, I can taste. I can drink bitter. But I don't like the bitterness of pork. So. <laughs> Uh, I would like, I would actually prefer milk, adding milk to it, yeah. And some sugar, but not too much. Oh, yeah. so, something feels strange about her, indeed. Her smile is the same as always. But if I'm not imagining things, hands are shaking? Huh? Wait. その手にしてるコーヒーの両面が増えて見えるのは気のせいだろうか。So yeah, it's really that. It's like my imagining things. Why are you shaking though? You should ask her that. No, I mean you, you two are supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend. You should, you, you should be worried. ありがとうございます。I take the cup she offers me. えっと、差し出されたカップを受け取る。え、my she, even though she has really become a full human, right? From uh, from a, uh, what you call that? Uh, elf. Yeah, from an elf. Yeah, you know, from a full elf now turned into a full human. There are consequences to that, and the consequences, and the consequence, the biggest, the main consequence of that is that, you know, she won't last long as a full human, because elves are not meant to turn into a human in the first place. Like it's the law of nature or something like that so if you if a, an elf actually turns into a full human uh the thing is he or she will not live long will not live for long that's my take on it and yeah, that's my theory on it yeah and i have a feeling that is probably going to be the case and so because so because of that it, it seems like toko is like near the end of her lifespan as a human, actually. And yeah, the thought of that is really scary, right? Yeah. She trembles and tries to pull her hand away. That reaction tells me everything I need. It's like, Toko, are you okay? Uh, uh, no. What? <laughs> I'm not the one being weird. Hen nanuwa, ore janakute. Hmm? Nani? Do you know? Oh, what if it's like the more he has successful with Toko, the more distant the two of them grow? <laughs> is that it? So the thing is, in order to, for Shuji to actually love Toko, he cannot have successful with her. <laughs> because having successful with her only makes the, the two grow more distant. Is that it? Is that how it works? The opposite effect? I don't know. Why do you look so worried? なんでそんなに困ってるんですか？え？それは。いきなり手を握られたりしたら、やっぱりびっくりしちゃうよ。握りたいならちゃんと言ってくれればいいのに。It's not that. It's not that, those. I know. You say that like a joke, but you're not really smiling. Eh? You have a smile on your face, but it's not real. Even I can tell that. How couldn't I tell? We spent so much time together by now. I don't need my ability to tell me that she's hiding something from me. Yeah, like I say, what if she actually has... What if she actually, like, you know... Um... There's also the thing about her meeting with the, you know, the, the, 
uh, what you call it, her lawyer. Yeah, and there's really something suspicious about that. And so the thing is that I have a feeling that Toko actually has not lost all her memories, you know, from her past as an elf. That's my take on it as well, you know. Yeah, she actually has not forgotten everything about yeah her past, you know, as a, as an elf. So that means she actually maybe has some memories of of like Shuji's parents actually. She does know who Shuji's mom is and all that. She does know that Shuji's mom is at was actually yeah her her witch basically, you know. Yeah, so well, it's time to find out the truth. Her eyes have been darting around for a while now. She has turned away from me, refusing to look me in the eye. Her, vo her voice is full of worry. And even though I'm holding her hand, she won't return my grip. But the most telling thing is, how oh, she's been calling me Hoshinakun ever since we woke up. Oh yeah. I didn't actually notice that. Oh shit, how could I not have noticed that? Oh yeah. Normally she, she actually calls him like Shuji. Shuji, right? Shuji-kun. But why is she like calling him Hoshinakun? Dame nan desu yo. I don't believe it. She's called me Hoshinakun far longer than she's called me Shukun. Oh yeah, Shukun, not Shuji. Shukun. It's so uncomfortable to hear her call me Hoshinakun. No, not just uncomfortable, but lonely, incredibly sad. I see what's happening here. No, we both do, don't we? Koko san. She turns away and hangs her head. That's all it takes to turn my doubts into conviction. Actually, I knew the truth already. I just didn't want to believe it. Please be honest with me. Is this some kind of prank? Is something going on? Why are you calling me Hoshinako now? Come on now. Have you actually forgotten? Memory lapse? Is it that you don't know what you're meant to call me? Do you not remember the fact that I stayed here last night? Do you... Do you not remember what we had together? The time we spent together as just the two of us. Does she not remember any of it? She has have forgotten everything. Shit. I'm left speechless, unable to form any kind of response to apologies. I place down my now empty coffee mug, making the first sound in quite some time. <sighs> Just how much time has passed. Long enough for my coffee to go completely cold, at least. Neither of us have uttered the word all the while. But Toko does need some explaining to do, like, like why doesn't she remember? Does she know? It, but it seems like she doesn't know. That's the thing. Toko-san. Please don't look so apologetic, not angry or anything. anything. Mm. Just explain, you know. If you can. It's not like she wanted to forget, right? Please just tell me what you do know. Toko-san. Senpai, what do you remember about Alright, if you say so. Okay, at least she still remembers that, but that's the fear that she'll eventually forget everything about Toko. I, I mean, everything about Shuji. To the point that both of them are just strangers. And oh, sh holy shit. But yeah, what's going on exactly? Is this the effect of like Shuji's mom? Like, you know, yes, you see, I think I know why th this could be happening. Yeah, I think I know why this is happening is because remember that Shuji has has the ability to read uh, other people's emotions, right? And the reason why she has this, uh, the reason why Shuji has this ability is because of his mom, right? Yeah, his, his yeah, his, his, he kind of like inherited this ability from his mom, you know, like the magic, there's some sparkles of, yeah, some sparks of, you know, some dust or something like that has particles of uh, Shuji's mom's magic still on Shuji. 
And I I think this is what this is why it affects focus memories. The fact that the Shuji's mom's yeah effects on the Shuji is actually affecting Toko. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that, that like like because they make love and like all this the that causes, you know, the magic that's on Shuji to be transmitted into Toko. And because of that, I, I guess the, the contract that Toko made with like in order to become a fully a human is to forget everything about her, her past and all that, including Shuji's mom. But since the, the, the particles of Shuji's mom's magic is being has been transmitted into Toko, that makes her forget about what she has done with Shuji, you know. Yeah, so that's my take on it. I see. But she's gone back to calling me Hoshinakun. So does she remember us having saxophone? Nah. She only started calling me Shukun after our first time. Am I the only thing you don't remember? Right, okay. Demo しなくん以外のことでも時々違和感があったから Okay, you keep notes. So then, do you know when this started? Was it before you met me? If it was, then I imagine she would have said something sooner, but she seems almost as puzzled by the situation as me. <laughs> yeah, you told me. You, you just bought a, a diary recently. Like actually just just today, right? Or, or yesterday. <laughs> yes. And, and 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 actually I have also been kind of like suspecting that when she bought the diary I knew they had something to do with her memory lapses. Yeah. Something to do with her amnesia. Yeah. Because she's like trying to write out everything that has happened so that she, when, even if she forgets she can still refer to the diary. Maybe she, then she can remember from there, you know? Yeah, you wrote it in. Uh, you wrote in it yesterday, and I was there when you with you when you bought it. So that. That time, what did you say? Oh, as in when you when you bought the diary with, with Shuji. Nothing really. Just that it would help you remember the fun times better if you kept a diary. You think you wanted to buy one because of this? Um. Mm. From that time. Ah, this is serious no. And this amnesia I I'm pretty sure it has to do with I, okay, maybe it's not like she disappeared or what, but this amnesia definitely has something to do with with her with the her being the consequence of becoming a full human. Yeah. So from the way she said it here, it seems like she actually forgets stuff every day. Every morning. Every morning when she wakes up, she'll forget like what happened yesterday or so. Uh, man. Please don't apologize. This isn't your fault. Yeah, I mean that's a consequence of you becoming a full human, like you even forgot about your 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 mask your witch you know witch master or something like that yeah should being her being shuji's mom 
初めてのような気がするだから何があったのか本当に覚えてなくて Yesterday you said that you wanted us to greet the morning together. That's why you had me stay over. So, Nanda. Actually, you wrote in your diary before we went to sleep. Maybe we'll figure something out if we look at that. Yeah. So, so, that's it. I still haven't confirmed it yet. Wait a minute. Toko-san hurriedly flicks through the, her diary. She starts right at the beginning. I'm sure she is also checking what else she might have forgotten. I sit patiently and wait for her to finish. Five minutes later, she claps her diary shut and comes back over to me. After five minutes of reading. Okay. Well? Hmm. That's what I wrote. I don't know. 起きるたびに記憶が足りなくなってここ最近ずっと不安だったの Yeah, so it has to be like the the, the, the major consequence of becoming a full human Yeah Like in order for an elf to become a full human sacrifices have to be made and her sacrifice of becoming a full human is she'll keep forgetting things to the point where oh shit Yeah でも昨日はそんな不安を吹き飛ばすぐらい幸せだって星野くんうんシュウくんと一緒にいられて幸せだってこの幸せを抱いたままなら記憶が消えたりしないんじゃないかって思った、yeah, 一人じゃなくシュウくんに一緒にいてほしいって強く思ったの I also had a hunch that this, this was the case like Why was she like so desperate to want Shuji to stay with her? It's because she doesn't want to forget him, you know. Yeah, she's afraid of forgetting him. So that's why her hands are trembling back then. Yeah, L last night, you mean? <laughs> if only I had paid more attention. If I had known then, actually, I, I, I actually kind of had a hunch back then. Yeah. So. But it's not your fault, really. I mean, no, no normal person will have sensed it that quickly, yeah. Yeah. So, not everyone can just sense it so quickly, though. Do you, have you guys actually sensed it? I uh, felt that something was off already when she started having this kind of memory lap lapses. Please tell me. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't have been able to do anything even if I had known. But still, still, you know, yeah, I, you, you might have found some solution or what. Hmm. We can't tell for sure yet. You did only start keeping the diary recently at all. It's also possible that this is all only temporary and you'll get your memories back for long. Actually, you know what, Shuji, you should probably also... One thing is, I don't know if he should tell her about her true nature, like who she was before she was, became a full human, like she was actually an elf. But I think more importantly, Shuji should go look for Nana. Yeah, she should ask Nana more about this, this condition. Yeah, he definitely should, I feel. Have you seen a doctor about this? それも日記に書いてあった。ちゃんと言ったみたい。でも、脳に異常は何もなくて、あるとしたら、精神的な理由じゃないかって。It's not emotional. It's definitely magical. It's part of the laws of, you know, of the, the witches and the elves. Yeah, the, yeah, the laws of that. でもね、私は本当に幸せなんだよ。日記にだってそう書いてあるし。だから、精神的な理由なんてあるはずないのにあとごめんねしゅうくん It's not your fault Huh? What for? Maybe she's apologizing for the fact that she didn't tell him this earlier? Tell him this, yeah, earlier 私が病院に行った日
しゅうくんを騙したって書いてあったあー弁護士さんと会うって嘘をついたって Oh, so you actually didn't go see your lawyer, but you actually went to the hospital. Oh. Right. That day, huh? Ah, no, he c a So I wasn't wrong about seeing Toko san in a place she wasn't supposed to be. So yeah. So, yeah, no, Toki. Choto hena ba sho de Toko san. Rashi ki. Se naka. セナカを見たのは間違いじゃなかった。I only managed to catch up to her. Who things have ended up differently? Yeah, you should have gone after her. I don't know why you didn't go after her. Oh, 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 yeah. But he said that he missed her, right? Yeah, you should have really gone after her. I would have. Yeah. あの時、俺が声をかけていれば、もう少し違う状況にできたのかな ?I'm sorry too. That I never noticed this about you. That I even made you like. うん。隠してたんだから、気づかなくて当然だよ。シュウ君は何も悪くない。悪いのは、全部私だよ。Why, why are you saying it's all your fault? It's not your, it's no one's fault. Nobody's fault here. It's not your fault at all, Toko-san. So please stop blaming yourself. Right here with you. Yeah, ちゃんと、ちゃんとそばに言いますから。うん。ごめんね。ありがとう。Toko-san has been going through so much. Why didn't I notice? I'm sure I could have found some clue if I had paid more attention to her. And I'm sure you should, like I said earlier, this illness has to do with magic. So you... Better go see Nana or ask her about it. Yeah, she might know something. I should have been able to figure out something was wrong. Even if I couldn't have guessed it was a memory issue. There must have been more than her trembling hands last night. No, I mean. Uh, yeah. So, it was. Sorry. I can't answer the question. She's right, I can. There's no answer that wouldn't somehow hurt her. Nikinimokaitata. Alright. At least you know the one thing is that even if you have lost your memories, the one thing that will never change is the emotions in your heart. Like, yeah, like, that's the thing where even if you lose your memories, like, emotionally you still like feel something for the other person, right? If you're like really close to the other person, even if you lose your memories, emotionally you still feel something, right, for that other person. Yeah, so that's the thing. Yeah, like, I don't think there's such a thing as, like, losing your emotions. You can lose your memories, but you can never lose your emotions, right? Yeah, I don't think there's ever a case of people losing their emotions, right? <laughs> yeah, losing their memories, yes, in the form of amnesia, but losing your emotions? <laughs> I don't think so, right? Toko san. <laughs> She definitely needs a hug right now. She's about to burst into tears. She really needs a hug right now. I, I, how, how I would like to hug her. Oh man. Of course, Sam forces her smile. Yeah, she really needs a hug right now. Her tone and expression are so painful to witness that it almost feels like I'm using my power. Go hug her. I will say this as many times as I have to. You've done nothing wrong, Toko-san. Go hug her. Don't just say it. Don't just talk. <laughs> Don't talk anymore. Just hug her. Oh, re re what she really needs right now is emotional support. <sighs> Sorry. This can't have been easy for you to explain. Don't, don't say all this. No. <laughs> you think she doesn't know? Just hug her. 
知りたいと思うのが普通だからむしろ好きな人は相手なんだから私が最初からちゃんと説明すべきだったと思う。Well, I'm kind of like tears right now. So, we must show. So, let's stop this. There's no point in apologizing to each other over and over again. Yami, Yami, must show. Utari de Ayamari atte te mo shikata nai des. So, that's it. Yeah. We both laugh wryly, forced laugh. Ah, that hasn't changed at all. こうしてところは全然変わらない。She's still the Toko san I got. Yeah. 俺が好きな Toko san、そのままだ。とりあえず朝ごはんの準備をするね。お腹が空いたままじゃ何も考えられないもんね。ご飯でいいかな。Yeah, I normally have that for breakfast. Though sometimes I have toast if I'm feeling lazy. Garu, so na kimochi. Watashi mo tama ni nebo shite pan dake da tari suru kara. It's the weekend, right? Yeah, so I think it's a Sunday. I'm fine with toast if you're not up for making anything. Uh huh. Tsukuri tai. Tsukurase te hoshi kara. Okay then, thank you. Wakari mashita. So, Reja, yoroshiku o negai shimasu. Gaten. Gaten. 100 points. Alright. I think that problem will just put aside for the timing, but yeah, like Shuji, like seriously, Shuji, you should go look, look for Nanao. Consult Nanao on this. Yeah. Because, like seriously. I think she's the only one who can help right now. Ah, yeah. We're eating sunny side up eggs, right? Arigato gozaimasu. She lays her breakfast before me. Her cooking looks like, as amazing as always. It's motori. とても美味しいそうだ。いただきます。スタッフ、ピックアップさん、エッグ、エッグ、エッグ、エッグ、エッグ、エッグ、エッグ、まずは、ベクターでの卵焼き、たまいや、卵焼きに箸を伸ばす。Yep, just the right sweetness, exactly to my liking. Actually, this 卵焼き、yeah, it's fried egg. Yeah, fried egg. とても美味しいです。それに、俺、好みを、の、こ、好みの味で、味で。That's like a, how I like it. Amazing. 本当に、よかった。安心したよ。私、普段は甘いのを作らないからね。Actually, I myself, I have eaten sweet eggs, yeah, but not sweet fried eggs. Normally, it fried egg will be like you add. Well, you know, because I live in Asia, so the eggs that are served in Asia, well, yeah, or more specifically Southeast Asia, they are typically more of the the yeah hard boiled eggs, and then we you add soy sauce, yeah, soy sauce or soy sauce, and some pepper, yeah, that that's more of the umami flavor, yeah, <laughs> the the a bit of the saltiness. I like that kind of taste. It's the perfect sweetness. Seriously. ちょうどいい甘,甘さですよ。本当に。I dig into the fried eggs. I can't put my chopsticks down. It's so good. 足が止まらな,止まらないぐらい美味しい。If I realize it, there are only two pieces left. Oh, sorry, I over it. いいよいいよ、気にしないで。そんなに美味しそうに食べてもらえると嬉しい。それに私は女の子だよ男の子のシュウ君よりも食べる量は少ないから
You know, should you you know what should you should be doing right now? You should be feeding her. <laughs> right. Don't mind if I do that. Hi, Suija. I dig right back into Toko-san's practice. Asagohan. Yes. Uh, Choku, yeah. Asa, this one I think is pronounced, pronounced uh, something Shoku, I forgot. Uh, Ko, Ko Shoku or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> this is way better than anything I've ever, I ever made for myself. Every so often while I eat, Toko-san looks at me and... <laughs> oh yeah, it's Cho Shoku. Yeah, Cho Shoku. She giggles happily. ごちそうさまでした。あ、でも、エクセレント。本当に美味しかったです。トコさんのご飯。うん。ありがとう。そう言ってもらえて嬉しいよ。ね、シュウ君。はい。トコさん。いや、ワイズ。はい。あ、何
もし習君さえよければ付き合ってもらえないかなって。Should we have saxophone too? Yeah, we should have saxophone to cap it off. Yeah. Then you, def- <laughs> Then you definitely remember again. <laughs> I hope. I don't know, but. We'll see. Of course, that's totally fine by me. Besides, aren't you really just asking me out on a date today? Oh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay, you eat. And yeah, you bet I wanna, want to go on a date. You, actually, you dummy, s h u j i You should be the one to ask her, hey, can we go on a date? You, you dummy. <laughs> but whatever. And not just to help you remember old memories, but to create new ones too. You should be the one suggesting this, right? Like, you know, like, you know s h u j i yeah, you should be the one suggesting this, not her. That'll make your diary a lot more enjoyable to me. You're really lucky, huh? You, 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 you bastard, s h u j i You're really lucky to be with this girl, no? No, who actually takes the initiative. Actually, almost in all, almost all of the girls' roots, it's, it's always the girls who took the initiative rather than Shuji himself. And that is definitely not practical in life. Let me tell you that. It's definitely not practical. <laughs> Most of the time, man has to be the one to take the initiative. Come on, cheer up. Dates are meant to be fun. Where else can we go, though? <laughs> I don't know. And, oh, yeah, maybe that same place that Nene and Sh- Shuji went to. Yeah, before you know, Nene disappeared. Yeah, and that place is actually not, not the shopping district. Yeah, not that shopping mall, but it's、uh, somewhere in downtown, right? Yeah. And that's the place where. Nene and Meguru went to. Yeah, I don't remember Tsumugi and Shuji going there. And I certainly don't remember Wakana and Shuji going there either. So, yeah. So, that's Nene. Now that I think about it, we haven't been on too many dates. We spend most of our time together flirting and making out. <laughs> Even at school. Actually, probably over half of our kisses have been at school. Not that I know for sure. We've kissed too many times to count by now. What sticks out most in my mind are the times we've kissed at school. Why do you have to mention that? But okay. <laughs> What? You want to go to school on a weekend? But it's a Sunday, right? Usually, yeah, I mean, usually schools are closed on, on Sundays in Japan. Will it be open? It's a weekend. Oh, yeah, she still remembers that、uh, basketball club, okay, on a Saturday.、Um, yeah. <laughs> And she still remembers that she's the former student council president. So, what she actually has forgotten is pretty selective, actually. It's all bound by the, the laws of the, the contract, the magic contract. Right, the, the, the elf contract、yeah, of becoming a full human. Yes, there's nothing for me to worry about that. The school should be empty enough for us to not be caught making out. Are we going to see a third age scene? <laughs> That's my question. <laughs>